All right, guys. Welcome back. We're back at it again with some more Red Dead Redemption 2. Look at the damn scenery. Is this beautiful or what? Unbelievable. Anyways, welcome back. Once again, we're going to hop on our speedy horse here. And uh, we're going to go meet up with John Marston. On the last episode, we uh, did the man a favor. Feels weird saying that. Did the man a favor when we were the man... Well, it's okay, boys. Hey, hey, hey! Hey! Dude, what the fuck? Next up. Sheesh, man. Talk about trying to have a peaceful Sunday morning. These damn criminals out here doing criminal activities just decided to rob a man. I wasn't even going to intervene. I was like, I'm not ready for this lifestyle right now. I'm just going to pass by and nothing ever happened here. And then they freaking shoot me. God damn! <laughs> I love it. Thank God it's only a video game, though, because that that would not fly by in real life. I I get down the source real quick, slap all you little shits. But of course, this is a video game, so I could pretend to uh, I could pretend yeah. to be a gentleman. Okay. Anyways, guys, back to John Marston we go. Um, as I was saying before, we got rudely shot down and killed, cold bloodedly. It feels it feels kind of weird. Like doing deeds for John Marston, like and saying the man, like because we were the man, you know. We were the man back then. Not, not anymore. Not, not anymore. We're completely a different person now. Hopefully, we uh, we do get to see a lot more of John in this game. I love me John Marston, man. All right, let's hitch our horse. Arthur, please. Thank you. I got to put a little bit more lighting in my face, man. It's too dark here. Okay, where's Mr. John Marston? Hello, ladies. I know I'm, I'm going to have to upgrade the camp sooner or later. Like, eventually, I'm probably going to do a nice little, nice little upgrade or something. Okay, I think he's beyond after the camp, I believe. I just wish I could walk a little bit faster here. You busy, Arthur? Yes, I'm busy. Where the hell is John Marston? What? Um. Okay. So apparently he's not here. Where the hell is Mr. John Marston? I think this man left. Okay, I think I have an idea as to what I'm going to do. Hopefully. How you doing? Hopefully this works. Alright, I'm going to sleep a little bit. Probably uh, 14 hours till morning. Because I, I look like doo-doo and I've done a lot of stuff and I haven't even rested yet. And my friend John Martian is not even here. So maybe we take a quick little nap. Maybe he comes back. Besides, I like I like daytime activities better anyways. Alright. There we go. Alrighty then. Welcome back, friends. John Marson is here now. Who knows? Maybe he was sleeping. That's actually really cool, man. Like they're not here at certain times. It's like I mean that was part of the first ride redemption as well, but this feels slightly more realistic. Hey, John. John. Let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See, Arthur? Ain't that dumb. <sighs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. <laughs> Oh, man, I miss John Marston, man. God, I mean, I should have missed him. He's right here, but I just wish I was in his skin right now. Like, yeah, I'm John Marston from the future. Now I'm here to kick some. Okay, I'm going to stop. Good morning, Hello. Dutch. My uh, husband owes you money. Here it is. Thank you. Damn, that guy's a pimp, bro. All right, girl. Combination of beatings and 
sickness did for him. My deepest condolences, madam. Yo, is that the same guy that we... <gasps> all your wretched lives. Yo. Is that the dude who went to the barn and beat his, his her husband up and then she said he was sick and then her and her son came out and tried to help him up after we pimp slapped him a couple times? All right, some more criminal activities going on. I, I love how random these criminals are just all over the entire map. Fortunately for them, I am not in a criminal, a criminal, a criminal mindset right now. I really want to do this mission with John Marson, actually. I'm a huge fan of John. I really want to see what he's all about. I think this horse is about to die any minute now. It's not making those noises are not normal, man. This shit is exhausted. You all right, girl? Just beat the shit out of him. Just just tell her everything's gonna be okay. All right. All right. <laughs> oh God. You're all right, girl. My cowboy accent is totally horrible and i'm sorry if i offend any of you og cowboys out there oh look a stagecoach some nice horses he's got there man i really like this horse but I'm, i i really want a pretty horse like like an all white horse with like maybe like some blue eyes in other words i want dutch's horse his horse is badass Good girl. All right. Damn, this mission is actually further than I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to be right around the corner, bro. Damn. Hey, you're okay, girl. hey, sir. Good day to you. You want to know a little secret? I'm about to rob a tree. <laughs> okay. Actually, we're actually very close right now. Very, very close. Yeah. Looks like a dried uh, little river there. Very nice, very nice. Come on, girl. All right. I think it was right after these little bits and bits of trees here. That's right here. I think we have arrived, boys. Yep, we have arrived indeed. Dude, look, look at that horse, man. God, that white horse is beautiful. And that brown one, too, man. That brown one is gorgeous. Okay. Who is this now? <laughs> ah, well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. Fucking scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides... What do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I try to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. Hmm. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guards, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And where are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Oh, well, good luck. Good <laughs> luck and shut up. I want to get some rest before nightfall. All right. So I guess we're going to sleep here and do the mission during the nighttime. Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. 
I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses, love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. Uh oh. Right, uh -oh. It's on. <coughs> Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen! I have a feeling Let's this is not. This is not gonna earn uh, a uh, uh, sit well, man. This is not gonna. Nope. It's not a good idea. All the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. If they see this blocking the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. Are you trying to kill those horses? <laughs> <laughs> see, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. <laughs> oh, you're a funny fella, John Marston. From my folks, eh? They're left here, towards roads. Now, as I was saying, you had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. You're gonna run the horses to death. So pretty much. I still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gutter sea, <laughs> back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say, Not the dog, no, please. No, this again. <laughs> Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Come on. All right. Pretty much stop the train with this. Look at that freaking horse, man. Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire. Yeah. Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Oh, God. Oh, God. Here she comes. Oh, God. That's so badass, dude. What's going on here? What's going on? Board the passenger cart. Nothing good. Oh, dude, this is so sick. I need to get up there. Finish up here and join us on board. All right. Hey, get on that train. It's faster. All yours, Captain. Go on ahead. This is so freaking sick, man. Everybody stay calm and the shit is getting shot. <laughs> Go. Everything you got. Money, valuable. There you go. Let's make this quick, people. Come on. Come on, people. That's right. Give us all the damn money right now. All right, so. What's the problem here? No, Just give it to him, Okay, okay. In the bag, everything you got. Keep it coming. Don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. Hey there, little buddy. 
One, two. Pretty give it a sh fucking muddy. Just do what he says, so this can be a gentleman. This is a robbery. Let's make this quick. If you boys need me, no, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Tough guy, huh? Reach out. You sure about that? Why are you wasting our time? You show this. Come on, old man. Give me the damn money right now. Let's go. Everything you got. Money, valuables. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Oh hell no. I'm gonna knock your ass. Come on, Give us that damn money. Everything you got. Let's go. Robbing a damn train with John Marston. Shh. Epic. Ten out of ten. IGN. Now that's hard to achieve. Okay. Okay. None of you. What is it? You all right? Hmm. What's going on here? For Christ's sake! You ain't even taking a look yet. Oh no, dead ability unlocked. Probably something in here, Arthur. Holy crap, dude. On now, man. This time I'll look and you provide the cover. Try me best, brother. But I'm seeing double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. Rob the baggage. Uh, funny. Jesus, man. Some decent stuff. Oh, oh. I'm gonna have a right out lump on me head. This you ain't got a hole in it. Are those? And this racket's in there. Posh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, well, all right. Where are the cigars? What's worrying me. Damn, you can't carry Looking anymore. Okay. I'll keep searching through here. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two assholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Horst Smith, get ready. You may come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. Uh oh. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more than torn enough. Oh. In my big mouth. Okay. Let's deal with them. Oh no. Took off his hat. Alright, hold on. Let me get uh my dead eye is too. Uh dead eye, dead eye, come on, I need some dead eye. I really don't have Alright, this one. There we go. Don't worry, John. Right, I'm gonna get the guys on the top. Oh man, this this fucking thing is super swavy. Swavy, is that even a word? God, I can't even fucking speak right now. I'm trying to focus! I still need to figure out if you guys know what is it that makes your um what is it that makes your aim like swerve? Is it the health? Hey! Whoa! No! Hey! So I was saying, let's go! Stay with me! Yeah. Alright, let's get out of Dude, what the hell? I gotta go through down here. My crew's following me, so we're good. I got a speedy horse. So yeah, I better keep up with my horse. But yeah, sometimes like I go and um 
I don't know. It's kind of weird. Like, I try and go and aim, and it, the aim is kind of like... I don't know. It just swerves. It throws me off. It's so random. Almost there, boys. <laughs> I think we're good now. Oh, we gotta turn this way. Yeah. Turn this way, okay. Escape from the cops! Escape yes. from the law! So crazy, so crazy how this game feels like GTA, but... In the Wild West! I think we did it. That was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut up. <laughs> Leaves me made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Yo. Yo, I got a lot of money right now. Damn. We had to obviously give some to the camp, but... Holy crap. All right. Oh, let's see what else we got here, boys and gals. Hmm. Should we go check out Micah? Let's see. Where are we right now? Right here. Let's go check out. Let's go to Abigail. Let's go see Abigail. This is John Marson's uh, wife. We haven't really been doing much with uh, women characters, so... Let's go talk to her. Maybe we can uh, have a little mission with little Jack or something. I don't know. That'd be cool. That robbery was actually pretty damn fun. I'm not even gonna lie. That was cool. Like it was, it was badass. I felt like a thug. <laughs> felt like a damn thug. Whoa, 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 whoa! Make sure we don't freaking. Okay, we're okay. Gotta be careful here. Here we go. Alright, supplies. So, our camp needs food and supplies. Alright. Let's see if we can, uh... Okay, let's let's contribute to, to the camp real quick, guys, okay? We gotta do some of these things. Take the sack to Pearson's wagon. Where exactly is Pearson's wagon and how far is it from here? Okay, it's right there. Remember, you gotta contribute to the uh, to the chores around the camp. Y'all sure are well supplied. I think he's close by, right? Hello. Where's the wagon now? Okay, here it is. Right after we do this. Do that. Now, as soon as we do this, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll do the Abigail mission. But I do want to do, of course, duties. Duties for the camp, you know what I mean? Alright, so... Let me explore this real quick as well. Crafting upgrades. Hey, if you could give me some leather working tools, I can make some rugs and blankets and the like out of these hides you're bringing in. Okay, leave it with me. Oh, nice. Arthur's Lodging. Alligator Skull. Dude, that's crazy. Oh, and then it tells you the recipe that you need. Oh, that's super cool. Scout Campfire. No way. What? Oh, that's super sick, dude. Oh, like you just need the stuff in order to craft it, right? Apparently we don't have anything to damn craft this. I 
reckon I need to get my hands on. Could uh, really use some good meat for this stew. Okay. Uh, donate for crafting. Yeah, looking forward to seeing what you can turn that into. Donate for funds. Okay, I guess I'll keep that in mind. I'll be coming back more now and hunting. I'll just be hunting more stuff from now on. And just being, uh... Being nice about it and just bringing shit back. Thanks, Mr. Morgan. Here it is. Hanging bones. The Boy Scouts will be very pleased. There we go. Nice. A few changes never hurt. Nice. So little by little, we'll be upgrading this. Let's see if we can... Um, do some more upgrades here. Okay. So Strauss's medicine wagon increases total supplies, includes snake oil to restore dead eye and bitters to restore stamina. Um, increases armor supplies, that's throwing knives, shotguns, rifle ammo. Quality and quantity of ammunition available in Arthur's tent has increased. He can pay resupply munitions when stock. When stocks are low. Alright, cool. I got a lot of money though, so. It's no big deal, you know. Oh, I don't actually, never mind. Where do I? Yeah, I do have enough. The camp has a station, has been unlocked. Recar your main horse to camp or access stable horses quickly. Very nice. Um, and what's next? Chicken coop. Some local farms are selling off old coops. It's 140 of Pearson's better oh, tools. Can get... Hmm, should we do this again? Oh, Let's upgrade it one more time. And that'll be it. The chicken coop has been purchased, increasing the quality of Pearson's too. Alright. Alright. What more do you want from me? Come on now. I did want to give some food, but again, when I keep coming back here to the little food icon, it doesn't let me do anything. I'm assuming it's not available at this time. Oh, there it is. No, that's not it. I never liked Catholics, Mr. Matthews, but... Uh... Maybe they're right. I need to confess. Good morning. See, it doesn't really let me. About, uh, hmm. Good morning, Arthur. Morning, ladies. Sometimes I feel as if he cared. He would have killed me years ago. He doesn't doesn't even let me do shit. Oh well. Let's go to this one then. I know this needs uh some attention right here. See, so these need things, but they don't really let me do anything. We're gonna go to Abigail here next. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. Sure. What is it? <laughs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. <sighs> Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and. Well, you know his father's useless. Okay. Thank you. His father is useless. That's messed up, man. All right, let's go find... Let's go find little Jack. The mission says something about fishing. So maybe we'll learn how to fish. Or something like that. I don't know. Look at little Jack. <laughs> hey there, little Jack. What you up to? Playing. Oh. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. It's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole in. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Launch a horse. Oh, man. He's so freaking cute. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. There, girl. <laughs> oh man. Alright, hold on tight. So where are we going? Just down to the river near here. 
You shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. Feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Though your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> It's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? Well, <laughs> we'll see. Got fish to catch first. All right. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. All right, let's go fishing. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Let's go to the riverbank. Was little Jack. I can't wait to get started. <laughs> All right. Where, right here, little Jack. Well, at least we'll learn how to fish now. Okay. Okay, hold on. I want for item wheel and fishing. Oh, nice. Where's your pole, Uncle? Very nice. First. Oh crap. <laughs> Yo, this is cool. Alright, so hold on one or use the bait wheel. Fishing. Uh cheese bait. Well, I guess attract smaller fish such as uh rock bass and bluegill. Okay. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Bellier the better. Now hmm. cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. All right, so Do hold R2 to pull the rod and release R2 to cast out. Okay. Like Press R2 to hook the fish when yeah, you feel good. bite. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. But if you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. You've got a bite, Uncle Arthur? Whoop, nice. All right, so use one. L to control Is the fish. A big one? Hmm. Oh, quickly rotate. Oh man, this is crazy. You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, it seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. There we go. Yo, the fishing's pretty legit here. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, Jack, it's a chain picker. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. I will throw it back. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. Um, I a press triangle quick to put more cheese on the tip. I'm going to pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. Red flowers. Hmm. All right. Here we go. I like the look of that spot. All right. For a uh, fish attractor to bait will often nibble before taking a bait. You know what's funny about this? That I was literally just fishing yesterday. There we go. How funny is that?
I was literally up last night. You got to stick at things, Jack. I know. Trying to focus here. I don't I, I want to make sure I don't lose this damn fish. I was literally fishing last night to like three in the morning with my brother and family, dude, and Rebecca and all, so it was crazy. <laughs> Not bad. What are the chances of that? All right, so we got one of these, so we'll keep it. And then we can probably cook it and eat it. There's more here, too. Fishing is actually really cool, dude. <laughs> I know. Born as hell. But right. then something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit, wait, try not to worry. Oh, we'll we'll try it in first person mode. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. The only difference between today, fishing here in this game. Fish on the line. The only difference between me fishing in this game and in real life is that I actually catch fish here. <laughs> what are you making there? You'll see. It's a surprise. All right, so the fish is tired. Reel it in. You still all right over there? I'm fine. Just want to catch one more. Then we'll call it a day. Yeah, last time we went fishing, guys, and we didn't catch shit. We caught like four fish. It was like nothing, dude. It was horrible. But it was nice. Fishing is always relaxing. Come here, fishy. All right. Let's see what it looks like in first person mode then. Come over here now, fish. Come over here. We got you. This one looks like a big one. Hmm. Ooh. Whoa. Yo, this is dope. Small mouth bass. Okay, eat, uh, eat in baked or pan fried. These flaky meat f uh, fish grow larger than females. Males that prefer to strike crickets. Pretty nice. We're gonna keep that. That's uh, looking mighty fine. All right. Hey, look at this. Hey, what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For mama. Oh. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton. Agent Ross. Pinkerton Detective Agency. Seconded to the United States government. Ross. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. Five thousand dollars for your head alone. Five thousand dollars for me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. <laughs> Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so. Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen, this is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear? 
I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about. No one at all. Come on. Let's pick up your things and get home. <laughs> it's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Ah, damn fucking laws. Obviously, we're on our side because we're the main characters, but we're criminals, man. We're, we're really bad people. But you know what? Fuck it. We're outlaws for life. All right. Yep. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. <coughs> World is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Did you like fishing? It was okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. All right, it's a lot of waiting around. All right, here we go. There you are. How you boys getting on? Great. We caught a fish. Oh, look I at my dog. <laughs> my my dog. My horse taking a shit. We had the luckiest. <laughs> Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey. You did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? Huh. Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Mission complete. All right, boys. That was fun. We're going to end the episode here. I want to thank you guys for watching and tuning in into today's episode. We did a couple of cool things. We robbed the train again with John Marston himself. We learned how to fish with Little Jack. And um, we almost went to jail. And we actually saw Agent Ross. Uh... A little bit younger than he was in the first Red Dead Redemption. But nonetheless, very, very interesting. I want to thank you guys again. And um, I hope you enjoyed your stay here. If you did, leave it a like.